Hi, my name is Larry Floyd from Chesapeake, Virginia. We're down for the Flags of the Hatteras uh, weekend symposium. And uh, I brought a selection of guns used by the Federal Navy during uh, the war between 1861 and 1865. Uh, when you say guns used by the Federal Navy or sidearms used by the Federal Navy, I guess it's a better description that they were also used, many were also used by the Army too. The only weapon specifically designed for the Navy during the war uh, is referred to as a Plymouth rifle. The Plymouth rifle was a uh, design of uh, Admiral Dahlgren, who wanted a shorter, heavy caliber uh, musket to be used uh, on board ship. This is an example of the Plymouth rifle. It had two bayonets, it had a, a longer saber bayonet, and it had a shorter uh, bayonet uh, referred to as the Dahlgren buoy, and could also, of course, double as a knife. Uh, other than that, the rest of these uh, weapons shown were used by the Navy. One thing unusual about this, uh, about the, the times, uh, this is a, a, an Ames box lock. It's a single shot pistol. It, along with the top weapon on the right uh, far end of the table, is a, that weapon is a Jinx carbine. Both of these weapons were actually, had been declared surplus and were in warehouses. However, when the war came along, there were more uh, men than there were guns, so they pulled these weapons uh, out of the warehouses, pressed them back into service, while some of these other weapons would be in uh, manufacture. It's often referred to as you'll hear the Colt Navy, Whitney Navy, or this, that, and the other. And a lot of people think that uh, the 36 caliber was for the Navy and the 44 caliber was for the Army. Well, the way the 36 caliber came about is the Colt 1851 with the octagon barrel. The scene on the cylinder was of a naval engagement. So therefore, it became, uh, it became the Colt Navy. Uh, and that's the only way, because they were used during the war by the Army also, the 36 caliber, in addition to the 1860 Navy, or 1860 Army rather, that uh, is 44 caliber, used by both uh, services. Contrary to uh, the Army, the Navy sailor was not issued an individual weapon which he kept. Uh, where in the Army, the infantry, the cavalry, they had their carbines and, and uh, pistols and muskets. In the Navy, all weapons were kept uh, locked in a weapons lock on ship and were issued for various duties such as uh, battles at sea and uh, forays onto the coast uh, on land uh, as uh, it's called. As you see, the variety of pistols, all of these pistols are, are cap lock. That means that a percussion cap loaded with powder in the cylinder, a projectile in the cylinder, and a, and a cap on the nipple, which is protrudes at the back. Hammer falls, breaks the cap, fire from fulminated mercury in the cap goes in, ignites the powder, the powder creates a gas, and expels the ball. At the that's how a shot takes place. Listen, I'd like to uh, thank you for allowing me to explain my collection to you. Uh, I've been uh, uh, working on this collection for many years. I was 70 last week, and I've been doing this since I was about 18 years old. Thank you.